time for a team that has risen from the ashes to become one of the most feared, dominant, absolutely electrifying teams in the NFL. Ladies and gentlemen, the champions of the AFC, your Cincinnati Bengals! It is time for the Super Bowl! Puts the nail under it, near side for Boyd, and it's incomplete. Burrow has just been carted into the Bengals locker room. It is the left leg. Uh, it certainly looks like something substantial. Sources have said Joe Burrow did, in fact, tear his ACL and his MCL. Their number one pick, their franchise quarterback, who wowed them, is now confirmed out for the season. Look, I'm back around. Yeah. They thought I was down, but look at me now. Look at me now. They tried to cut me out, but the math ain't that to the exact amount. Don't add up. Football is a violent game. Everyone goes into it understanding that, and you're gonna get some bumps and bruises along the way. We were just getting rolling when when I got hurt. So it was, it was tough to happen when it happened, but you know, it's just gonna make me stronger. Well, I think what's important to understand is he's human, you know, just like all these professional athletes. And there's gonna be moments where it's frustrating for them. One thing that stood out for Joe was on the bus ride from Washington Field to the airport. You know, he's laid out, he's just torn his ACL. It's a very difficult moment for everybody, him more so than probably anybody else. And, and the first question he'd ask me is, what did Washington do in the second half? With the fifth pick, the Cincinnati Bengals select Jamar Chase, wide receiver, okay. LSU. So the Bengals go ahead and get Joe Burrow, his old college teammate, back. Watch, I don't ever quit. All my enemies wish, but I never did. I never I'm too heavy, kid. I'm an animal, dog. I'm an elephant. I don't play when it's game time. I won't let you come and take mine. The fruits of my labor gonna taste fine. Don't care what you heard from the grapevine. Meeting as a whole unit with the quarterbacks and receivers. Get our connection and timing down with Joe. That's when we found out, you know, how good we could be. Week one, I got the Vikings taking this one. Week seven in Baltimore, that's going to be a loss. Week 15 on the road in Denver, I'm going to take the Broncos. I have the Bengals finishing 4-13, and 13, last in the AFC North. You know, people are going to say things. That's, that's the business that I'm in. I hear it all, but it just doesn't really bother me. It is what it is. I want it all, the whole thing. Not a piece of the pie, I'm gonna ball for the whole game. I don't ever get tired. When the stakes high, you can see me putting work in till my team leaves. I'll be right there when they need me. Like, did you look around the division? The Steelers started out 11 0 last year. The Browns ended up beating them in the playoffs. The Ravens have been a contender. Where do you see the Bengals' place in this division? We gotta go out and compete every week. The easiest way to make the playoffs is win the division. I'll be right there when they need me. Like, Well, we are fired up today here at Paul Brown Stadium on a great day for football with Joe Burrow at quarterback. 294 days after the horrific knee injury at Washington, he is back in there, ready to go. It felt great to be back on the field with the guys, especially in front of the fans. Being from Ohio, it's a, it's a privilege to be the quarterback of this team, and you know we have great fans that I'm looking forward to uh, putting a great product on the field for. Second and goal from the two. Empty backfield, Burrow looking to pass, throws it into yeah. the end zone, caught by T. Higgins, touchdown, Bengals, Burrow's first touchdown pass of the year, and the Bengals score with 147 left in the half. 42 left in the half, the Bengals have it in midfield, Burrow ready for the shotgun snap, drops straight back to throw again, he's going to fire it long for Jamar on, Chase, yeah. over the shoulder catch, yeah. at the 15, Woo. he runs it into the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, making his Good Morning Football debut, Bengals wideout, Jamar Chase. What's up, Jamar? How doing? Good morning. Good morning. You want to just take a moment to address the naysayers with how concerned they were about your case of the drops? The stage is yours. What would you like to say? i like to tell them, um, enjoy the show. Born for greatness, man. Born for greatness, man. Born for Two defenders greatness, go down, man. and he 
and Chase runs it into the end zone. Chase has it in the end zone. What a throw by Joe Burrow. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown catch of the game. Are they for real after they won in Pittsburgh? I think we found out the Bengals are very much for real. Look, they're not the same old Bengals that everybody expects to roll over. They've got a lot of talent offensively. They are an improving team, an ascending team. Burrow in the fourth, third to the left. Caught at the 18. He's on to the 10. Cut back, moving a stiffer to the pylon. Touchdown, C.J. Uzama. Number nine, the QB1 for you guys. Take a minute and tell us what you think about this guy as a player and as a person. Right, he's an animal. Good protection, pump fakes, gestures, scrambles left, throw throws, caught by Uzama, streaking toward the end zone. He's in. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Can't zero me. Cincinnati Bengals, three and one. How about them Bengals? The Bengals held serve. I mean, they had the quarterback with the swagger who said, put me at empty, you're not going to stop me, and marched him down the field, and they won that game last week. And this will be a great test against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Packers come in with a record of 3-1, and one, and on the other side, Bengals come in with an identical 3-1 and one record. And this is a heat check for the Bengals and Joe Burrow. Second and one at the Green Bay 8. The Bengals trail by 8. Burrow hands it off, picks it, bouncing it wide to the right. Cuts back and takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. 327 on the clock. Now they will line up and go for two. Burrow catches the shotgun snap. He's back to throw. Moving to his left. Throws toward the back of the end zone. Caught by T. Higgins. And the Bengals have tied it. Championship. Championship football. Come on. Come on. Championship football. Got to I thought our guys early in the season, you could really feel what they were about, and there were some special things that were going to be a possibility for us. Nothing uh, has been easy. Nothing worth having is ever easy. We always knew that we had the potential, and that was our belief. But you never really know until you face the real adversity over the course of the season. From 57 yards away, McPherson's kick is on the upright. Crosby. Here we go again, Kenny. 49-yard attempt for the win. McPherson's kick is off the upright. Miss field goal number one. 15, 16. This feels like it, right? <laughs> this will be a 49-yard attempt for the win. Can they get it done here? Snap and placement. Here's the kick. It is up. It is good. Mason Crosby got it done. That was a crazy one. We learned from that one, right? Uh, you're going to have a great career, man. You're doing a good job. You know, tough loss. That thing was a roller coaster. But I just told our guys, I know exactly what kind of football team we have now. Yes, sir! I know what it is! It's our house! It's our house! This team's going to fight to the end against great teams, great quarterbacks, and this is going to serve us well over the course of the season. Burrow rolls to the right, guns it deep down the middle of the field. Uzama makes the catch at the 25, escapes a hit, running between the hash marks. Touchdown! Burrow deep to Uzama. Quick throw, slant caught by Chase, runs to the 30, breaks out of the pack. He's sprinting down the middle of the field. The Ravens 40, pulling away at the 30. Touchdown! 82 yards. Ricky out of here, right here. Ricky out of here. That was fun. The Bengals are in first place in the AFC North. Burrow drops back to throw, spins away from the tackler, running down to the 10, dives for the end zone, and Burrow is in. And a floated for the end zone, and T. Higgins, he goes up, he's got it. Burrow hands it off to Mixon, he's into the end zone. Cincinnati is embarrassing Pittsburgh. They are 7-4 and four because that was a beatdown. You got higher aspirations than being the Steelers. We are a legitimate contender to come out of the AFC right now. It's a totally different team than what we expected them to be. They have a different mindset a different attitude. They now expect to win. Burrow looking around. Now he will try to take off and run. Still on his feet. Fires downfield. Caught on the run. Boy, sprinting down the middle of the field. 
68 yards. Burrow is going to fling it high and deep downfield, and it is oh, caught by Higgins. Unreal. Burrow throws it deep downfield. Mixon makes the catch at the 10, and that will take Joe Burrow up and over 500 passing yards. The first quarterback in more than 50 years of Bengals football to ever do it. Hey. Hey, fellas, you guys answered the bell today. That's all we ask, okay? And don't let anyone try to minimize that win. Winning in this league is hard. Winning in this division is hard. Winning in December is hard. You guys went out there and kicked some ass today. That was awesome. Oh, that's all. 37 of 46 for 525. Four This week's MVP is Joe Burrow! Oh! That's one impressive trophy! There's a very strong online community who believes that Joe Burrow has actually awesome. grown up Kevin McAllister. Yeah, we're right where we want to be. Win these, these next two games and, and we got the division locked. Have you ever seen him and Macaulay Culkin in the same room? I haven't. <laughs> I loved Home Alone. It might be the same person. They are. The Bengals. This is the Bengals. This isn't some other team. The Bengals have a chance here at the start of January to clinch their first division title in six years. You know, listen, outside of the AFC North, which is heavily flawed, what is their hashtag signature win? That they almost beat the Packers? Okay. This is big if they beat the Chiefs. Listen, if they win this game, <laughs> Stratosphere, 7A opened the program with them. The Bengals are hot. The Bengals got sizzle. Don't get clapped by 30 points this weekend. D don't do it. Happy New Year, everybody, and greetings from Paul Brown Stadium, where today the Cincinnati Bengals can clinch the AFC North. Not a lot of teams have this opportunity, dog. We can go win our division against them. Make a statement, dog. You know, I thought that we had all put in the work. You know, I think we're a really talented, hardworking football team that you know, I feel like we can go out and beat anybody on any given day. I think this team is capable of a lot, actually. You know, we're going out there and fighting every down, every play, just playing with that grit and that gritty. You have to have that edge to you. You got to believe it or else it's never going to happen. You know, and it's not a false confidence or false bravado from our players. We have the talent. We have guys that are willing to work. You look at the Chiefs story first. They're in the one spot right now as far as seeding. They can clinch it today with a victory. You look at Cincinnati, a division title at stake today. They can take the AFC North with a win. To have a game like this during the holidays, it feels like a playoff game. So much on the line. I'm excited about this one. We've got a lot of momentum right now. Just look back at the confidence our players have. It's not fake. They've earned it. They put in the work. They've done it on the field on Sundays. So why not us? First time ever that Burrow and Mahomes play against one another. And here we go. First down. Play action. Touchdown, Kansas City. Demarcus Robinson. Didn't take long for this. A 72-yard touchdown drive. And Kansas City is on the scoreboard first. Mahomes throws it near side. Todd Kelsey! Touchdown! Kansas City leads Cincinnati 14-0. 250 remaining first quarter. The Bengals need to answer. So it's, it's either there or it's not. Take a shot. On second down and seven from their own 28, trailing 14 nothing first quarter. Burrow catches a shotgun snap, drops back three steps, throws. Got an open target, it's Chase at the 40, look at that move. Look at Chase go! Oh my goodness, what a gear he just found! Chase for the touchdown! Wow, Chase is on the case! 72 yards! And numero uno puts the Bengals on the scoreboard. Burrow throwing it toward the end zone. Boom! Oh, Chase! I'll take that right over Ward. For the second time in the first half, the Bengals trying to keep pace with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Burrow back to throw. Fires deep down the sideline. Chase wide open. Chase! There is no chase. It's a touchdown. Nobody's going to catch him in the open field. City will try to tie it with a field goal attempt, and we are even with six minutes and one second left. 
Bengals need to gain at least six yards to be comfortable about a field goal try. It's third down and 27 at the 41 of KC. Let's throw it. Put it up. Chase has it. They got the one-on-one right over Ward. Here's the rookie for the win for the division. Straight away from 20 yards. Pearson. The kick is good. And the Bengals have won the AFC North. Talk about the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. What a shocker. Who did? Who did? Who did they go beat the Bengals? Who did? Who did? Who did they go beat the Bengals? No! That was a special moment for me. You really think back to when we were 0-11 and we beat the Jets. It's very different circumstances, but very similar emotion. Here's a lot of hard work that's finally paid off. We got our first win in 2019, and now here we are getting that win that finally won won the division. So two very different moments, but for me, they felt very similar. Hey, no one gave you anything. You went and... Yes, sir. You went and took it. You won the division, the best division in the world. You guys went and won it. You're in the playoffs. Yeah. You have a whole lot more to play for. Everyone's getting the game ball today. You know, everyone that talks with Zach about the direction that this organization was headed, I felt like it was fact. When he was explaining it, I was like, that's a guy I want to be with. That's a guy that has a plan for, for me and the organization and is going to get us to where we want to go. These guys have just bought in. They've put in the work. They've been consistent with their effort and their leadership. And, and it served us well, particularly in late November, December, and it's going to continue to service well here in January and February. One more note. The highest yardage performance in the NFL to date this year, Jamar Chase. 266. That situation, you know, just sitting back and watching everybody smile and be happy about it. Everything was so overwhelming. I just couldn't, you know, believe what was going on. You ended up with more yards than Mahomes had passed. Did I? I don't think I did that. Ain't no way. I did? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, sorry. Excuse my profanity. <laughs> Once I calmed down a little bit and then I started to get excited and felt it. So it was fun. Excited for this playoff game. Excited to keep moving and, and get this first playoff win. You know, we, we can beat anybody in the league at any given moment. And you know, we're not done yet. Bengals fans have been waiting for this for more than 30 years, and the stadium just about shook as number nine took the field. We'll see if the Bengals can get it done against the Raiders today. One thing I wanted to know, if you ready, steady, go. C.J. Uzama in the middle of defenders. And Burrow goes deep to chase up in the air, juggles, got it down. Oh my goodness. Is a Burrow drops back to throw, looking, rolling out to the right, still looking downfield. Throws it towards the left, the end zone. He makes the catch. The officials are talking about it. The result of the play, touchdown. Nine yards of real estate will determine this playoff game. This sellout crowd holding its collective breath. Carr throws into traffic. My team, we ain't no joke. Intercepted. Coffin now! Total jubilation and delirium as the Cincinnati Bengals are marching on after 31 years. The drought is over! Fourth down and one. They're going to give it to Derrick Henry looking for a running lane. He's hit and he's tackled for a loss. Third down and five. Tannehill back to throw, looking, throws over the middle, bobbled, intercepted. The Bengals have it at the 47-yard line, 15 yards away from field goal range. Give me a minute to get up in. How does it feel to know that we winning? We ain't taking no prisoners. Either you with or against us. We ain't falling for no okie doke. When it go bang, you gon' know. My team, we ain't no joke. Throws for Chase, got it! It's going to be about a 52-yard try for the 22-year-old kid for the win. How nice is it to have a kicker? Like, oh, that guy's unbelievable. So he was talking to Brandon as he was going out to kick, give a little warm-up swing, and he said, ah, looks like we're going to the AFC Championship right before he went out there to kick it. McPherson ready from 52 yards away. The snap, the put down, the swing of the right leg. It's on its way. It is 
good! McPherson has sent the Cincinnati Bengals to the AFC Championship game. And the Bengals march on. <laughs> it's glorious. Because we be winning, man. Big Tom, big game. Championship Sunday gets started with the Bengals and the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Joe Burrow gets Patrick Mahomes. That's right, and these two QBs can bring it. The winners headed to the Super Bowl. The Cincinnati Bengals are one win from going to the Super Bowl. But to get there, they will have to beat the 26-year-old quarterback with supernatural talent. You got to love this. We're one game away. We're four quarters away. We're playing the game we dreamed about since we were little kids, man. You got to love this. There is no tomorrow but them right now. As a kid, we didn't dream of this. Now we're living the dream. Time to take full advantage. Bengals on top today. Let's get it. Our players do a great job of taking a victory and then quickly moving on to, to the next day. It's easy for us to follow that flow that we followed now for the last 21 weeks, and our guys are ready for it. They take a lot of pride in being ready to go on the road into a hostile environment and coming out with a win. It's a first and goal from the 10. Play action into the line, and the home's going to slide and throw to the end zone. Oh, what a catch! It is caught for the touchdown! Here's a third and two. Mahomes dancing around, spinning around twice. Finds freedom, and in the end zone, he finds Kelsey. They connect again for a touchdown. First and goal. Fake to Edwards and Lair. They toss it, and it's 21 to three. You know, obviously 21-3 isn't exactly the most exciting position to be in. Second and 12. It's past Ward. Look at him go. Inside the 20. Into the 10. Oh, he takes it the distance. Wow. What a joke. Just when the Bengals needed it. We scored a touchdown, and then, you know, they drive right down the field. Chiefs will get the ball at the one-yard line with nine seconds left. Now, the Chiefs had to be careful there without any timeouts. Defense prevents any points from being put on the board, and I think that was really the turning point in the game. Double tight, three wide. They roll out the left side, sprinting. Mahomes throws it into the ground with five seconds to go in the half. Everybody was covered. They're going to kick the field goal, and I guess they're going to go one more snap. Crowd loves it, as they will give Mahomes a chance to throw a quick pass into the end zone. If it's incomplete again, then they'll settle for the field goal. From the one-yard line with five seconds left in the half, Mahomes throws. Hill catches at the six and gets tackled nice. in bounds, nice. and the clock runs out. Nice, Eli. Eli! Good boy! What I'm talking about? Come on. And the Bengals dodge a bullet. The Chiefs get to the one and do not get a field goal or any points out of the last drive of the second quarter. When we stopped them before halftime, we knew we had built the momentum. Coming into the locker room after that stop, I'm like, that probably won us the game right there. We knew at halftime, all we got to do is just be us and just grind it out. We're down 11, just like we were four weeks ago against the Chiefs. We knew that we were going to be able to go win that game. I think a lot of people probably wrote us off. We were definitely going to come back and uh, give them a run for their money. Will this be volume two of Charles Dickens' Tale of Two Halves? We saw how the first one ended up. Bengals were down 28-17 at the half. Bengals win 34-31. This football team does not quit. Chiefs offense trying to get something going like they did in the first three possessions. The Bengals get another stop of the Chiefs. The Chiefs offense unstoppable for three touchdowns. Now it's punt, punt, and an interception. You're probably going to get double teamed, all right? I am. You're going to scream through the whole thing because you'll attract the safety attention and let this run over the top, all right? Burrow drops back to throw, steps up, now flings it downfield, caught at the 40 by Higgins, running across the 50, the Chiefs 40, a big passing play. When we score, we're going for two. Oh yeah, I like that. Throws it into the end zone for Chase. He leaps. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. I just told him, just run a fade route and just throw it up to him. Give him an opportunity to get the ball out of the air and make a play. 
and now the Bengals can go for two to try to tie this game. The Bengals one for five on two-point conversions this year. Shotgun snap, Burrow throws for Taylor, wide open, he's got it, it's a two-point conversion. And the Bengals have climbed back from a 21-3 deficit to tie this game. It has the distance. It is good. Hell yeah. We got to believe. All we got. We got to believe. All we got right here. All we got right here. The Chiefs have third down and goal to go at the nine-yard line. Mahomes catches the shotgun snap, retreats back to the 18. Looking around in the end zone, nobody open yet. No pressure at all. Now here comes the rush. Mahomes way back at the yeah, 25, baby. loses Ball's the out. ball. The Chiefs fall on it at the 26. Oh my gosh. Sam Hubbard knocked the ball out. At least the Chiefs recovered it. It's a 44 yard attempt for Butker. At three seconds to go in regulation in the AFC Championship game. Placement is down. Butker's kick is good. And we are going to overtime. The Chiefs will get the ball first in overtime. But here's the first part though. We stop them. All we need to do is win. Right? That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to stop them. Yeah. Mahomes. Deep downfield for the Cheetah. It's deflected and intercepted nice. by Von Bell. The Bengals come up with an overtime interception and now could win the game on a field goal. Stretch run, it goes to Mixon inside the 20, 15, and stumbles forward to the 12 yard line. And now the Bengals will turn to their rookie kicker, Evan McPherson. I didn't say anything, but you know, I was going through my head that there was probably a good chance that we were going to the Super Bowl. The kick is up. It is good! Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! <laughs> We talked about all that Mexico, hey, and I told you, we sat down in that room and I said, hey, you're going to be the greatest receiver to ever do this. Don't ever let nobody tell you nothing different, bro. Go get you a ring, bring that back home, and handle business. I love you. Zach! Come on, man! Come on, man! <laughs> we're not Zach, surprised. This is where we're meant to be. I'm proud of the guys in that locker room. We got a special team. And we've overcome a lot of deficits this year. We always believe in all three of our phases. Everyone stepped up, man. We're not done yet. It is no fluke. It is a fact. The Cincinnati Bengals are headed to Super Bowl 56. The Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. Live from the YouTube Theater in Los Angeles, California, it's the 2022 NFL Honors. And the 2021 AP Offensive Rookie of the Year presented by NFL All Day is... Jamar Chase. The 2021 AP Comeback Player of the Year is... Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow always seems to stay in the moment. The pressure never rattles him or bothers him. You watch some of the things that he's doing in the locker room and the dancing and the cigars <laughs> and all that. His teammates love playing for him. You see his demeanor. You see him with the cigars. He does have fun. It's not typical quarterback. I call it he has stink in his tank. I mean, there's a certain confidence about him. The thing that I think that he reminds me of the second coming of Joe Montana. He's that cool. They call him Joe Cool. I think it's right. kind of sacrilegious to steal your nickname. He can have it. Enjoy it. And finally, we are off and running. It should be.
Super Bowl 56. The Cincinnati Bengals, champions of the AFC, led by Joe Burrow. It was special. You didn't get a chance to really appreciate a lot of the moments that we had because you were so quickly moving on, but I thought our guys gave tremendous effort. And rejected. Defensively, they slammed the door. Hit by Hendrickson and sack. Burrow back to throw. Wants to float it high and deep for Chase. Reaches out, comes down to the ball. A spectacular fingertip catch. Who is that? Who's on him, Ramsey? Huh. Interesting. Our guys aren't afraid of anybody. They got tired of the narrative of all the things that other teams are going to do to them. And here we are in the Super Bowl, and our guys stepped up and made plays. You don't want to miss this, baby. It's so addictive, baby. Oh, yes, believe it, baby. We make the place go crazy. Since he's going crazy right now, I'll tell you that. I, I love it. I love the city. I love them backing us the entire year. I love going out and people just yelling randomly, who day, and, and trying to stop you in front of your car, like when you're at a red light. You know, since he's lit. I've said this before, but I had the most fun playing football than I ever have. And I think that just kind of speaks highly of my teammates and the coaches that we had around us. Obviously it stings, but we had a great year. Didn't come out this last game the way we wanted to, but and we still have something to celebrate. We are going to be back here. If it's not next year, then it's the next. With him leading our team, you know, I know that we have a really good chance of winning football games. Like I've said all along, he's been a professional since the day we drafted him. He's come to work every single day, been about everything that we want to be about. He's the guy. He immediately makes our team better when he's in the huddle, when he's calling plays, when he's in meeting rooms, when he's in practice. He's a f dog. You're a hell of a player. You got a great future, man. Love competing against you. Just keep being you. I like to think that we're going to be back in this situation the course of the next few years. So take this and let it fuel you for the rest of our careers.